Okay, um, good evening, Miss Herrera and Miss Margarita. Miss Garcia, welcome. Good evening. Good okay. evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening, Miss. Uh, we're going to start at eight o'clock. That's mean in about two minutes. And um, I will set up some things here in my computer, and then we are going to be working uh, on the platform, okay? And I'll be back. See you soon. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Um, okay, welcome to everybody. I'm seeing that Miss uh, Mata, Miss eh, Garcia, Miss Herrera, and also Miss Rodriguez, Mr. Saldana, and Miss uh, Ramirez. Okay, um, I'm seeing that you are connected, um, and we're going to start with a video conference that corresponds for uh, this Wednesday. Um, as you know, we have been working previously on exercises in the platform. We have been uh, working on the topics that correspond to section number four. And, um, and also, as you know, um, this course has a, a, the idea of working on writing, listening, speaking skills, Okay, and also learning vocabulary. That's going to help you, help you a lot uh, in, in your progress. And uh, something that I need to mention um, before to start the video conference is that, uh, as you see, you have a notification um, in the platform that says that this course will finish on um, Monday, 27. I, I don't know if you have read that uh, notifications there in, in your platform. Yes, no? Okay. But anyway, if you have read, read uh, or not, um, you are going to, uh, you need, uh, I mean, work on the exercises of the platform before that time. Okay, before Monday uh, 27. 
Um, why? Because the course is going to finish, or at least the video conference are going to finish on um, the, well, the next week on Thursday 21. Yes, Thursday 21. Because um, as you know, we have only um, 16 video conferences. Okay, that's mean 16 video classes. Um, and we're going to finish it at, at that time. Uh, the principal or the people in church of, of these uh, courses uh, <clears throat> told us that you must complete all the exercise before finishing, uh, before ending uh, this course, okay? Um, that's mean that for the next uh, Thursday, in about uh, nine days, you must complete the 100% of the exercises. That's the information that I have. Um, okay, so I don't know if you have any question for me uh, before to start this uh, with, with a class uh, of this day. No, teacher. No questions. No question, teacher. Okay, very I good. don't have any questions. Okay, very good. So that's the information, and, and I uh, I'm asking you uh, to to work uh, on those exercises. Uh, I will be checking your progress later, and uh, if you haven't worked, I'll be sending um, a notification. Okay, um, in order to work on it. Um, well. Section number four, we're working in section number four. The topic that we're, we're discussing previously was describing people. Now, uh, we're going to watch a video. Uh, first, um, this is a, a video conversation where we're going to identify in a picture, okay, um, who is the person that the speakers are describing. We're going to see, uh, well, I'm going to share my, my screen in order to show you that. Give me a second. Hello. Okay, here we have. Okay, um, this is a video. Okay, uh, we were, we're going to pay carefully attention to the speakers. Um, we had for this section, uh, which one is she? Okay, which one is she? That's the question. We're going to identify the person they are describing. Pay attention to this. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay. Modifiers with five. Sorry. Good. We're going to stop here. Okay, the question is, uh, the question Raul says, is which one is she? Uh, could you identify uh, who is she? Yes. Can you describe her? It's the one that she's standing next to the window with the jacket and the straight brown hair. Okay, Long. very good, excellent. What else? Wearing glasses? 
were in glasses? Okay. Uh, does she wear glasses? No. She's standing near the window. Ah, she's standing near the window. Okay. Yes. And what about the clothes? She's wearing the jacket. Okay, what color is the jacket? It's gray. Gray? Okay, very good. So that's mean uh, in this case is she, right? The, the ones that I'm pointing out with my mouse, with my pointer. Yes, she is. Okay. Yes, okay. Very good. Excellent. So we're going to see the next uh, next objective in uh, as you identify and also you describe uh, who is she. Um, we're going to be working on the section. Um, this case four point eleven. This is going to be um, the, the, well, in section number four, the, the part that we're going to be working on. It says, in these sessions, we will learn to use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay, that's the, the, the aim of this uh, part. Um, we're going to know what are modifiers, uh, but I would like to um, have an answer right now to if you have any idea about what a modifier is. You know what is that? Do you know what is a uh, participle or what participles are? Preposition or participle. Oh, okay, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Um, in this case, when we talk about uh, modifiers, participles and prepositions are words um, that, well, you are going to know the meaning in, in this video, but are words that we use as, as the name sets to modify something, okay? To um, add any extra information uh, to something. If we use particles or participle, I mean participles, is when we use um, words that change. We're not talking here uh, about about uh, words uh, in in past participle. No, that's not the the idea of this. When when we talk uh, about the participles, are words that change the meaning, that change the the, the structure uh, in a sentence. We're going to, to see how does it work. Prepositions, as you know, uh, we have many of them. Uh, these uh, prepositions can, can help us to identify um, the places, they help us to identify um, a, a, any location, uh, and also a preposition has, help us to, to, to range different things. We're going to see how does it work and we're going to see uh, how, how we can use it in a conversation also in uh, sentences. Pay attention to this video, okay? Do you have any question before to start with the video? You have any question? Not teacher. Okay, so pay attention to this. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who is Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. When we use modifiers with participles, this is how we use them. A participle is used before a noun and they modify it. 
They finish with ing, but they are not verbs. They are adjectives. Notice we use prepositions along with more information to modify the noun. In this case, the noun woman. When we use modifiers with prepositions, they go after a noun. Participles and... <clears throat> okay, uh, we're going to stop here. Modifiers, participles, and prepositions. That, that's what we're going to be talking uh, tonight. Um, in the video, we can find or well she defines what is a participle uh, and also what is a preposition as she said the participles are words that are not verbs okay the, these words are not verb they end with the ing form but it doesn't mean that they are um, acting or they are working uh, as as a verb okay uh, so then what are those what are those uh, those uh, words are called adjectives, okay? Adjectives. And in a sentence, or when we create a sentence and we're talking about something like the, the noun, um, we're going to find that these words modif uh, modified or add an extra information uh, to the sentence. In, in the, <coughs> sorry, in the case of the participle, they are uh, acting uh, to describe. They, they are working to describe the noun. Uh, as we can see in these uh, sentences, he is the man wearing, okay, or wearing a green shirt. Uh, the second one, it says, uh, he is the one taking to lead, I mean, talking to list. Talking, talking is not an action, okay? Talking is not an action. It's not working as an action. It's working as an adjective because it's describing what um, the man is doing. Okay, it's describing the action. No, no working uh, as a as a verb. Okay, we have to define this because th th this is something important in in um, in conversation. Also, when we are going to create sentences. Um. Well, we have that, the participles uh, that are uh, taken as an adjective because describe our actions and, 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 and also uh, can be part of a noun phrase because uh, we're adding extra information. Um, with the prepositions, um, is um, something a little bit similar, but in this case, we are not describing um, we are using the, the prepositions in order to add extra information to describe. When I say that it's not describing, it's because the word is not working as an adjective. In this case, the word is uh, working as a connector in order to add extra information that describe the noun. In the examples that we have here, we have uh, with, in, next to, on. All those are called prepositions, okay? What are the nouns? Uh, the nouns are like the woman, the tall one, uh, the people, the ones. Or th those are the reference that we're going to uh, be taken um, in a sentence in order to describe something because it is you notice there in the sentence it's it, it say she's the woman okay the woman is the, the, the noun in this case she's the woman with short black hair okay short black hair with is adding that extra information with is working uh, as a connector in order to describe what in order to describe what? What is describing? Uh, short black hair. Okay, but um, that that adjectives are describing what? The woman. Or in the this case, woman. who? The woman, the and woman. who is the woman? the woman? Who is the woman? What is the name of Liz. the woman? Liz, okay? Liz. Because uh, someone Liz. before has asked about Liz, 
uh, the question says, who is Liz? Okay. In order to describe something, we can say, oh, she is the woman, okay, with short black hair. The same happened with the rest of the, uh, of the sentences. Uh, we have a question, also we have an answer. Those are ways, those, those are structures uh, that we can use, sorry, uh, in order to describe someone. Um, we have here like, uh, which one is Julia? Okay, which one is Julia? So the answer that we have there, the example that we have there, it says, uh, she is the tall one in jeans. If we come back to the previous conversation, do you remember that we saw, we saw uh, um, a picture before? Remember that? Okay. This part. Do you remember this? This is the, the previous conversation. That it says which one which one is she? Okay, according to this exercise, I, I, I'm going to do it. Uh, give me a second. Okay, uh, Good to see you. Where okay, that, that's a picture. Okay. Um, here we have the sentences. Um, the question is, it says, which one is Julia? Okay, the, the answer said she is the tall one in jeans. Okay, who is Julia in this in this um um in this uh, picture? I mean, sorry, in this picture. Who's Julia? Julia is the woman that's in front. Uh, in next to the window. See? Yeah, that, that, that one is uh, Julia. Okay, that one is Julia. Yes. Julia. Okay, let's see the other ones. Uh, in, in the first one, it says, who is Liz? Ah, it says, she's the woman with short black hair. Black hair. So in this case, which one is uh, Liz? Can you identify her? She's wearing the green sweater. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, okay, very good. Thank you, Miss, Miss uh, Garcia and also me, Mr. Sanchez. Very good. Okay, uh, what can this, okay, she has the green sweater. Uh, what else we can? What else we can say about Julia? Julia is next, to the, Julia is next to the window, but, but in the, the I mean, what what we what else we can describe or what 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 else we can say about Liz? Okay, can you describe her? Who who is she? What else we can add? Are using uh -huh. are using glasses? Glasses, yes, that's right. Okay, yes, uh, and also she's using uh, like black, I mean black pants. Uh, oh, mm. do you know? Do you know uh, this? Do you know how is called this? Hold, the shoes. Hold, hold. The shoes. The name of the shoes. These are called uh, boots. Boots, uh, mm, kind of. It, um, the image is very small. Oh, okay, sorry. What about now? Uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, this. Ah. Who are called this? Ah. Do you know? Hill. Hill Green. Hill Green Hills. Green mm, kind of. It, it, okay, the word has hills, but there is an, a, specific, an, a specific noun for it. Shoes heels, tacon, <laughs> Shoes heel, kind of, kind of, kind of. She. You want to know it? No. No? High heels. High heels, yes. Who said? Ah, Who said it? Mm -hmm. Who said it? High heel shoe. 
Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. Ah, okay. Jacqueline. Very good. Yes. Those are called high heels. High heels. In Spanish, how, how, how we can translate that into Spanish? Do you know that? Zapato de tacón. Tacón es alto. Yes. Oh. Yes, that's true. Okay, so let, let's see the other ones. Uh, in the next one, it says, who are the Smiths? Okay, that's the question. Who are the Smiths? The description for them, it says, they are the people. They are the people. Next to the window. Oh. Next to the window. So let's see who are they. The Smiths. Uh, please make the picture more. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I will do it. And now? They are the couple uh, near the flowers, did you? Or near no? the flowers, yes. The, 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 that's the couple. Okay. They are the behind, couple behind next Julia. to the flower. They, they are, are behind, behind Julia. Julia. Okay. Okay. What else? What about uh, the hair? Um, she is uh, uh, curly hair. Curly, curly hair. hair. Black okay. Hair. And what about he? She is uh, wearing earrings. Red hair. Red uh, hair. Yes, exactly. So. There, we are describing uh, those people, that, that couple in this case. Uh, let's see the other ones. Um, the last one it's well, that's the last one. I ah, know. Um, let's see the last one. It says, uh, which ones are the Smiths? And it says, they are the ones on the coach. You know what is coach? Sofa, teacher Sion. Okay. Sofa. Coach. Uh, let's see the. the... Uh, which ones are the Smiths? The Smiths. They are seat teacher. Okay, they sit. Uh huh. And they are drinking. They are drinking some beverage. Yes, exactly. So they are drinking what? What could be? Oh. Wine, orange juice. We're not right. We don't know. Beverage. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Yes, we don't know. It's, it's waiting. <laughs> Sorry. It's where a crystal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there we have that. Uh, we're going to do the following. We're going to do an activity right now. Um, we're going to turn on our cameras. Okay. And you are going to do, you are going to be working in pairs. Uh, maybe one group is going to be working in trios, but uh, we are going to do something. Pay attention to, to, to the instructions. Uh, we're going to go to the breakout rooms and we're going to uh, see each other. Okay, you're going to see each other. And what you are going to do is to describe uh, your partner in this case. Uh, just imagine that me, maybe Miss uh, Miss Garcia and Miss Herrera are working to, together. Miss Garcia is going to describe to Miss Herrera, and Miss Herrera is going to describe to Miss Garcia. Um, <clears throat> the, for this activity, we have to turn on our cameras. If, if we uh, don't do that, uh, the activity uh, it doesn't work. Okay, um, so do you have something to say before to start with the, the activity? Is are clear the instructions? Yes, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. Okay, so let's start working. I will create the breakout rooms and um, you are going to have around, do you think 10 minutes is okay or do you need more time or less time? Less time. Less. less uh, how time. much time do you need? 
Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay, let's work with it. Five minutes, and uh, we'll we're going to start right now. That's mean that we're going to be back at well eight thirty-five. Let's start working. Hi, hi, hi. Good ya evening. Se, ¿Me pueden explicar qué es lo que vamos a hacer, por favor? Sí, descri vamos a describirnos cada uno. Puede ser como lo que estamos usando o el entorno en cualquiera de los casos. Okay. Eh, voy a describir yo a Fátima y Fátima que describa a Manuel y Manuel. Sí, no. ajá.
tiene la mano de Jesús, su camisa es verde, ¿verdad? Eh, excuse me, don Manuel, eh, Fátima le está hablando. Diga. Okay, um, ready? Ready. Okay, so the activity is going to be uh, like the follow. Um, one of you is going to describe the person you were working um, in the breakout rooms, okay? For instance, Miss Herrera can start describing someone uh, that, um, that was in the breakout rooms with her and the rest of the people are going to uh, guess, okay? We'll try to identify who is that person, okay? Okay. So let's start working. Um, so for that re for that reason, we must uh, we must uh, open our cameras or cameras uh, in order to try to identify that person here in the video conference. Okay. So let's start. Who is going to be the first one? Hi, teacher. Okay, Miss. Go ahead. Well, she is in her four years. She are using glasses right now. She is good looking and pretty. And he you know, is wearing a light blue blouse. It is sitting in a chair in her home. Uh, she's studying English, studying English with me right now. And she's very intelligent. She's an English teacher and she lives in Santa Ana. Okay, guys. Who is she? Eliana. Ah, <laughs> okay, Eliana. Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, who is going the next? Who is the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, miss. Uh, she's waiting. A uh, blue shirt. Uh, she's wearing glasses. Her hair is black. She's she's wearing headphones, and she is in front of an orange wall. Next to her, there are some decorative paintings. Okay, who is she? Who is she? She's Fatima. Fatima, yeah. that's true? Oh yes. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, very good. You, you are doing great because we're identifying uh, the people here uh, immediately. Okay, that's good. You are using good description, girls. Um, well, someone else? Me, teacher. Okay, sir. Go ahead. Um, Rosa Maria del Milagro. No is a woman. Okay, you, you don't have to say the name. You don't have to say the name. You have to you have to, just to describe her. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing here is that we, we have to try to guess who is that person, okay? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, sir. Don't worry. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, someone else? Me, teacher. Okay, miss. Um, she is wearing a blue blouse right now. Okay. She's wearing glasses. Okay. Uh, she is with short, light brown hair. She's wearing okay. earrings. She is in jeans. She is a doctor, and I think uh, she lives in La Paz. Is a good person. Okay, who is she? Okay, guys. Patricia Herrera. Patricia. Miss Patricia. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. 
Um, let's see who is the next one. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss, go ahead. She is the girl who's wearing glasses. She has medium length curly hair. She's wearing a bun. She is wearing a gray shirt with a little white dots. She has mm. brown eyes and a white skin. Mm, who is she? Okay. Um, maybe Liliana? Maybe. Noemi? Yeah, Noemi. Liliana? Okay, is she? Yes, no? Miss Miss Mata? Yes, you are. Oh, okay, very good. Excellent. Yes, you are using good descriptions. Very good. Um, next one. Me. Okay, Miss. Go ahead. And she's she's girl wearing she's black. And oh, okay. She's dark and short ears. She's brown nice. eyes. Uh, she's uh, she's trained. Um, she's short, tall. Uh, she's look, looking good looking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is she? She's Diana Mata. Diana. <laughs> yeah. She's Diana Mata. <laughs> okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Um, who else? Who haven't participated yet? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Miss. Okay. She is man middle. She is dark black. She is dark. Mm he -hmm. is black hair. And mm -hmm. she has a mustache, mustache, no sé cómo se pronuncia. And the mustache. shirt is black. Mustache. Okay, and who is? It's Jimmy Saldana. Jimmy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. very good. Excellent. So, Mr. Jimmy, because you said a name, uh, you are going to choose one of them. Uh, the, well, the people that, that, that are in this uh, video conference. And um, try to make it a little bit difficult in order to identify that person. Um, eh, don't say things that are like evidence. Try to try to do that. Think about it, and you are going to be the last one, okay? In order to you can practice in, in this activity, okay? Um, Miss Mr. Sanchez, ready? Okay. Okay. So go ahead. Jacqueline uh, has long black eyes. She uses it color. Okay. Uh, she wears glasses. Okay. Glasses. Glasses. She wears a white with. Her. Mm, she will be abused. Eighteen years old. Okay, very good. Who is she? I think uh, maybe is Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, that's true. Yes, it's. Is that true? Jacqueline is the okay. younger. <laughs> the younger one here yes <laughs> she's the younger one here um well uh miss who is who's missing miss rodriguez you already participate fatima you already participate yes ah, okay very good so mr saldaña ready uh, yes okay uh, she's a woman Okay. She is a very young. Very young. Okay. She is a long black brown hair. Okay. Um, she is a, a 
sit down coach okay let's see that that that's a little bit difficult okay let's see yeah. who, who do you mm-hmm. think is that person Rosa because the, the here Rosa we have Rosa Maria yes <laughs> yes <laughs> okay very good excellent excellent okay guys um that's been the activity uh, that we develop in order to describe people something that i, I saw is that you didn't use like the prepositions and you, some of you use the, the, the participles um, but you didn't use the, the prepositions. We're going to do an extra activity where we have to um, try to use them, um, the, I mean the participles and also the, 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 the prepositions and you are going to do the following. Um, in the chat of this uh, video conference, okay, in the chat box, you are going to write a sentence uh, using a preposition uh, or using um, uh, a participle, uh, the, the ones that we have been studying in, in, in this class, okay? So you can use uh, no, the prepositions or the participles in a sentence, just one sentence, one sentence, okay? So let's start working because this activity is going to be individually. Hello. Hello, sir. Tell me. Me podría explicar un poquito qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Claro, este, vamos a crear una oración eh, ahorita utilizando las um, los participios y um, las preposiciones. Bueno, en este caso podemos utilizar participios o preposiciones. Uno de uno de los dos. Los que estuvimos viendo en la en el video anterior en esta clase. Eh, donde teníamos nosotros oraciones usando preposiciones y utilizando eh, los participios, ¿ok? Una oración, solamente una oración. Estoy en el chat tomando este, algunas oraciones, tal vez no las tome todas, este, pero estoy tomando algunas y las estoy modificando para que este, eh, tengan todos los elementos y luego les explico este, eh, un poquito sobre eso, ¿ok?
Let's go back to um, these presentations, the, the ones that were um, previously discussing. Um, as you see, I was changing some sentences there in the chat box uh, because some, something was missing on those sentences. Uh, when we're going to use uh, the participle, so when we're going to use the prepositions, we need a noun in order to identify that person. How so? Um, let me use the, the pencil. Okay, this one. Um, we're going to use always, always a noun in order to identify that person. Uh, we can say like, he is the, the man, okay, he is the man, or he is the one. We can use one of them, or uh, she is the woman, or she is the one. Why? because we are describing the noun and not a subject. Um, when I say the noun, is um, the person that we are going to describe, like, like uh, the following examples that we have here. He is the man wearing a green shirt, okay? <clears throat> what are describing? We are not describing he, we are describing the man. Okay, the man. Um, or in the second example that so we have there, it says, he is the one talking to Liz. Okay, uh, who is the person we, we are describing? Oh, the one, the one that we are referring to um, the questions that, that someone asked us. Uh, cuando nosotros utilizamos los participios o las preposiciones para describir personas, eh, y utilizamos los, los modifiers. Eh, nosotros en este tipo de oraciones debemos incluir eh, el nombre de lo que nosotros a, a, o de a quien nosotros vamos a escribir. Cuando me refiero al nombre, no me estoy refiriendo al nombre propio de la persona, simplemente al nombre que se va a utilizar para hacer referencia a esa persona. Por ejemplo, eh, don Jesús me puede preguntar a mí, ¿quién es Raúl? ¿Ok? ¿Quién es Raúl? Cuando yo le voy a contestar, yo no le voy a decir, um, eh, Raúl es el que está vistiendo, no. Eh, yo voy a hacerlo de la siguiente manera. De acuerdo al, al esquema que tenemos aquí, ¿verdad? nosotros lo podemos hacer, por supuesto, no hay ningún problema. Pero de acuerdo al esquema que tenemos aquí, puede ser un poco más ordenado a la hora de describirlo. Yo voy a decir, él es el hombre vistiendo una camiseta verde. Ok, el hombre es al que yo hago referencia para describirlo dentro de esa oración. A eso es lo que yo le voy a llamar el nombre eh, de a quien yo estoy describiendo. Si ustedes observan, aquí no estoy describiendo yo el sujeto, porque el sujeto es he is, uh, I mean, perdón, he, ok, he. El verbo que voy a utilizar para describir es is. La descripción o, o a quien yo hago referencia es the man, pero al the man yo le voy a, eh, o, o al hombre, este, yo le voy a eh, agregar una información extra para describir quién es esa persona. Okay, porque yo puedo decir, ah, who is Raul? Oh, he is the man. Ok, he is the man. But, pero yo estoy señalando, I'm pointing out someone, but I'm not giving more information. So for that reason is that we are going to use these participles and this preposition. Cuando este, alguien me pregunta, ¿Quién es Raúl? Ah, es el hombre, pero hasta ahí, ¿verdad? 
no tengo yo definido, imagínense hay un grupo de personas, es el hombre. Tal vez si es el único hombre que está ahí, entonces yo lo puedo identificar. Pero si son varios hombres, entonces yo necesito una descripción extra. Para ello voy a utilizar los, los, los eh, participios eh, y las preposiciones. Como les repetía antes, los participios no son verbos eh, que yo voy a utilizar este, en, la, eh, en la oración. Son descripciones o son palabras este, que se utilizan como adjetivos que describen acciones. Por eso se les conoce como, como, como participios, porque no están funcionando como, como verbos en sí, sino funcionando, funcionando como eh, palabras que describen al nombre. ¿A quién están describiendo en este caso? En, el or en la oración número uno, están describiendo al hombre, ¿ok? O en el caso de que no querramos mencionar el hombre, porque como ya se, se, se hace referencia a la persona anteriormente, eh, y estamos utilizando el one para hacer referencia a ello, este, nosotros podemos utilizar el the one también. Por ejemplo, si la pregunta es, which one is Raúl? Ok, uh, he is the one, he is the one talking to Liz. Él es este quien está hablándole a Liz. Hablándole no es un verbo. Es, uh, en esta oración no está eh, trabajando como verbo. Está trabajando como un adjetivo que describe la acción. ¿Está clara la indicación hasta, hasta este momento? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Okay. Bien, entonces nos vamos a quedar este, hasta este momento con esta información, porque lastimosamente pues, el tiempo va corriendo y eh, prácticamente ya tenemos los 60 minutos y lo vamos a dejar este, el, el complemento para el día de mañana. El día de mañana vamos a continuar con los modifiers, vamos a este, ver más información sobre los participios y... y las preposiciones que nosotros podemos utilizar. So, eh, that's been all for tonight. So, eh, I don't know if you have any questions for me before leaving this video conference. Oh, I don't know. I don't have any questions. Teacher. You don't have any questions? No. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, um, well, I will see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock as always. And... Um, If you don't have any questions, so that's mean that I, I will close every conference, okay? Blessings to all of you and see you tomorrow and good night to everybody. Bye-bye. Good night, good night good teacher. Good night. See, you. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you good tomorrow. night, everyone. Good night, everyone.